there YouTube it's Michelle it's Sunday and while I had some time thought I'd do another quick video this is of a beautiful traveler's notebook that I won from Manuela Ott and Manuela is Bunny Bow Designs on the YT and uh, she has her own YouTube channel, she has a website, she teaches classes, she has digital downloads, and she makes the most incredible journals. So I laugh. Um, some may have their Angies and their Angels, but I have my bunny, my bunnies, and my Manuela. Uh, she has um, been really responsible for a lot of the journals I've gotten over the last year here's one beautiful one this one is a deep burgundy that's been distressed and it's got the um, closures uh, that are embossed on it just a beautiful journal I bought this from her um, I got a digi kit from her to do a file folder and I made the folio and I had that on the uh, I did a video on that and then this was a little small one that I got from her that I'm using for my kind of wellness journal there. But just wanted to share, and I know I told Manuela that I was sorry I hadn't had an opportunity to share yet that I received it. And she just said she was more concerned with me using it than sharing it uh, with the YouTube world but I wanted you to see this beauty. So uh, Manuela it tucked in a knot. First of all it was impeccably uh, wrapped up in linen with this beautiful bow and so I kept the bow out. The, the linen I'm gonna uh, do some coffee dye into it so that way I can use it in my journals. But here's the beautiful card and Manuela is in Switzerland. I'm pretty sure. I know she's in Switzerland. And so, but her YouTube is Bunny Bow Designs and she's bunnybow.com. And so you could definitely check out her website. So thank you so much. So here is this gorgeous TN. It the cover has been laminated, which I love. Keep everything nice and pristine. It has a stretchy lace closure. Uh, similar to that Tim Holtz folio, so I really like that. That's kind of cool, Manuela. I may have to scrap with that one. Beautiful uh, ribbon on the spine. It's got two signatures, but they're done TN style, so they come out. So inside, but this, look at that cover. Isn't that just gorgeous? And so it's some design paper, but I just love it. So when you open it up, the first thing you see is that the two signatures are totally uh, are closed um, with some beautiful sari silk and uh, we laughed about that we just talked about how I did that on a couple of my TNs and just how you know when you've got all these goodies in there it's, it just one it makes it not be as much of a gator mouth because you can kind of close it shut and two that way everything stays inside so let's get inside uh, this first signature first of all on the outside some beautiful design paper that she's sewn all around. She's got some lovely book page material um, that she's got some lace behind. On top is one of her die cuts. She's a die cut queen boy. And so, um, I don't know, between her and Poet Spice, uh, I don't know. They're neck and neck, but she's got this beautiful frame and this picture, gorgeous picture inside the frame and then an applique up top, uh, lace on the edges, and the uh, collection she's used is filled with apricots and creams, uh, really shabby, um, but definitely vintage. And so you open it, so here's a, one of these little fold outs, and it's tied, it has its own tie, so the tie within the tie, and it opens up three-way, like this, isn't that gorgeous? And so on one side, when you open it up, there's a tuck spot here. There's this large, huge tag. This is a tuck spot here. You got the large tag up top here. 
Um, there's some stenciling going on here with some coffee dyed paper that you could write and journal on as well as on here we've got a beautiful tuck spot I'm pretty sure I think this is yeah I'm pretty sure it's a tuck spot um, so up here you could tuck something you open it up and when you open it up there's another piece of paper that uh, you can use for journaling here's one of those Sizzix um, y'all know what I mean doodads here you can put some memories here we'll tuck this back in you know typically when you do that kind of stuff on camera they never go back in but hers are going in and then here's the back and the back has some ledger paper a beautiful butterfly and the butterfly it opens up and there's grid there for you to journal so there's that and all of that closes up so I'll close that back up and got some piece of coffee dyed paper some it's an envelope it looks like made out of this, some design paper inside of here and that's one thing about Manuela whenever she gives you a or whenever you get a journal from her she's gonna make sure you have baggies of embellishments which always includes her die cut so here's some borders uh, there's some labels there's a button in there I tuck this back so I don't lose it this baggie has it looks like oh appliques and more ribbon and lace for your own decorations and there is a let me see oh goodness what am I doing oh this was an envelope that was tucked in here and then this just comes out there so there's another piece of paper so that you could do your own um, make your own embellishment and that's all paper clipped with a piece of organza uh, polka dot ribbon there just chock full uh, this has some of that washi going down that looks very antique lace here's a tuck spot here just absolutely gorgeous here's another one of her die cut tuck spots and got a journaling it looks like an index card with music notes on it here's a pocket there's an envelope in here there's another one of her die cuts gorgeous that's what you are lady say flip out here for journaling lace on the edge some washi with numbers decorating that page so here's a bag there's a beautiful look at this stamp is that stamp not gorgeous or what vintage stamp the baggie folds up makes a tuck spot there's two journaling cards here plus you can put something inside the baggie opens up you've got your butterflies floating in the center here's the string that she's used to keep the tea ends in the elastic here's the other side of that bag another tag there there's her bow just so pretty I guess apricot that's the what it reminds me of is an apricot collection with apricots peaches creams Cut a feather, a couple of tags. Stitching, some of the pages have stitching on them. And this piece of design paper flips out. Tuck spot here made out of lace. A journaling piece here. Here's another pocket, and this pocket is full of those Sizzix die cuts flowers the wildflowers just another piece of here's a dragonfly open that up and some grid paper and that's the end of the first signature which then ties shut I'll do that in a second and then here's the second signature which is tied with some more sari silk here just beautiful 
and then um, and this just is wrapped around oops not that that's not what I want meant <laughs> this is just wrapped around the signature so it could be taken out but I just love the fact that all your goodies are nice and tucked away got another piece of the material the um, dictionary page that's been or book page that's been done on material some lace there die cut frame with the picture and then another applique open up got another one of the labels this book belongs to and then we've got another flip out uh oh woo -woo. alrighty so we got a tuck space here charming love that this opens up like so there's a tag here another one of those large gorgeous tags place for journaling ooh, ooh sorry y'all place for journaling here uh, that's been stenciled here goes let me make sure I'm doing this right and this opens up this way another journaling spot that's been stenciled and then a tuck spot here with a journaling card and more tags and some labels beautiful and then this has the sorry so that whole section can be shut off and then you've got a piece of ledger with a hummingbird that opens up full journaling sheet coffee dye paper here's a page that it looks like it's got a piece of doily on it that has made and created um, a side tuck with two tags one that's got music notes and the other one is just a plain one it's a belly band that she's made it's a die cut and then used to hold two journaling cards here one's a postcard and the other one's a piece of ephemera both you know are ready so that you can journal on the back of them another page that flips all the way out from the collection bag with a butterfly on this one and then in this tuck spot that's got lace on the on the flip up there's a little small little journal it says noted just beautiful it's got some pages in there to journal on here's another page coffee dyed with some lace got a little washi in here got a page that another page that flips all the way out And then this page here has a lace pocket on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous with a bag. It looks like a book page baggie that's got then a piece of a tag that's got music notes on it. Simply beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Center of this signature has the floating butterflies page opens up so pretty more of that collection with coffee dye paper here's another pocket with the lace you've got a tag with another feather die cut this almost to the end look at that beautiful gorgeous image it's just been torn journaling sheet and this it's so pretty it's like a organza ribbon that's been sewn on the page and this flips out this way and then this is a tuck this is a tuck here Isn't that pretty and this and there we go there so that. look at that picture oh I love that gorgeous on that bag and collection some more design paper and here's a doily oh look at this it's a doily collage it says beautiful that's fabulous oof and then here's a page it's got look at that it's got a cute pot with the plant coming out and that folds open to journal just so creative and so beautiful so I feel blessed I mean I definitely was fired up to see my name come up but um, Manuela you are so talented
Thanks, everybody. This is 15 Minutes. Hope it loads. Bye.